Look, Molly, it's broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all up to him. <laughs> Should be a nice ride once we get up to 27,000 feet. Uh, uh, we've got LaGuardia weather. Of, uh, light winds out of the east we've at got five. A funny pilot going Four on. miles visibility is the mist there. We got Lady Gaga in the back. Kiwi Herman up front for your safety and your Lady Gaga's on. Anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Once again, sit back to the right. That's nice. cab heading to the city Yay. So, yeah it's a warm day but it's quite raining it's raining it's, it's okay lovely. it's okay I love New York in any way. yeah wow all right <laughs> I'm honestly really we just arrived at our hotel and I'm really kind of surprised this is amazing view this is the best view we had in New York so far it's amazing especially having it in this season right yeah in this season like because i always i didn't know if the leaves are gonna still be on the trees but they're still on the trees and now i know why in new york like the prime real estate is like if you're looking at central park because like in this busy city if you just you know it's good for your soul kind of just to look at nature and leaves and especially in this busy city to just see this it's pretty incredible it's so yeah priceless. yeah and this whole the uh, hotel is also pretty cool kind of we tried to stay here last time uh, when we were in New York and it was still closed but the whole concept is like everything's like recycled, reclaimed, organic uh, it's pretty awesome so yeah we'll show you guys around but I'm really excited to hit up the park right there this is Mimi chilling out how you doing Mimi? I'm posting okay. a picture? I'm just editing the picture <laughs> that bathroom the shower is see-through that's pretty epic <laughs> <laughs> See, everything. <laughs> See everything. Hello. Wow, that's cool. The question is, do the windows open? Because Mimi and I are very particular, usually with the windows being open. So let's... Oh, oh nice. they do. That's the best. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. We like fresh air in the room. Even though it's like the noise right away comes in, but it's cool. Yeah. You get fresh air. I'll take the noise. <laughs> look at Mimi, she's so cute. I like you, you're like very relaxed. Like my hair? Yeah, you look very cozy this there. It's so cozy, but look down. It's so scary looking down. It's like you're gonna fall off. <laughs> it's really scary actually. It's pretty cool. So we're just heading for lunch now uh, to one of my favorite sushi places here in New York City. It's awesome, so I'm really excited. Kind of running late, so hopefully they still give it's us a, a table. Busy place, yeah. Very busy place. But if not, we'll find something else. So New York City after. Yeah, exactly. Oh, won't you be like That was really good. And the finishing touches. The mochi ice cream. What is it? It's, it's a little cheap. But once a year, it's cool. Or maybe twice. Oh yeah, that's the way it should be. No tips. Walking around, we decided to just sit down. We're sharing one tiny chair. Oh yeah, it's one chair, and we're just sitting in front of a New York Public Library. 
just hanging out. People oh, always come here when we're in Yeah, it's a good spot in New York. We're just people watching. Lots of energy in New York. Always. It feels very different. Like I, I say it all the time and we that's why we come here every two to three months, but the energy is just like nowhere else. And I think most importantly is that yeah you say this all the time as a person you have to really as a business as a person you have to compete in order to stand out in the sea of people so New Yorkers embrace their weirdness and their characteristics and I think that's one lesson I'm curious to go to Tokyo and see how that compares to New York I think Tokyo is like I, I don't know like, if anybody been. who's from Tokyo or visited Tokyo let us know or you guys want to invite us to Tokyo who knows uh, <laughs> But we definitely want to go there. Yeah, we want to go there soon. Yeah, I feel like it would be similar in many ways. Exactly. Maybe, maybe more intense. Probably. <laughs> it's raining now. So yeah, we're going to try to find some cover. Mimi is just perfect. It was a hat. I must have felt it. And Mimi, yeah. like, her hair curls beautifully as you soon see? as the rain is out. You see what happened? It's like she just... That doesn't sell the story. All, all natural, baby. All natural. Like, my hair just stays the same. Someone like you could love Just hanging out with Mimi at Mimi's favorite restaurant in uh, New York, Baldwin. They have gluten free pasta, that's why she's super excited. Uh, but I, I also want to introduce you. This is actually we're hanging out with Jerome. I'm already on this channel somewhere. Yeah, uh, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Yeah, actually, the funny story this channel your channel? It was my channel. Well, I was gonna I come back. Yeah. <laughs> so you might have seen Jerome. I actually, I don't know if you knew this. I'm the most seen video on your channel. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I interviewed Jerome before he like hit it big. On, like, when on, you started Jerome? When you just... Yeah, I cause, started them. Cause, no, no, because the, 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 the crazy story of Jerome, how we met. When we, I met Jerome in, in Toronto. And when I met Jerome, he wasn't doing the fine things yet. It was just, he was just starting. And I'm like, as soon as I met you, I'm like, wow. Like, <laughs> this guy... He's either going to be like super huge homeless, or he's going to be in jail. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but regardless, I'm really happy to be in, in your company right now. We're, you know, we're just talking right now just with this table. We're just talking about kind of the difference we can all do and the change in every, kind of, single, one of every single one of us and creating purpose. And most importantly, even what Jerome has taught me when when you first did the interview with me on the rise, and you check it out, I'll link it down. But as I go outside your comfort zone, so this guy made me take off my pants. Yes, that's what he did. I said, you? I said, yeah. But I was thinking about comfort zone. I said, I challenge you. I challenge you to take off your pants. In the interview, you were so red. I'm like I'm red like right now. Yeah. I go, well, it's a challenge. But, but at the same time, I'm saying. And, and, and this is and this is and this is this guy's unique ability, his talent is like to yeah to get all of us outside of our comfort zone and to kind of question the things that we do, and get over that voice. So uh, I'll, I'll get us. I'll just ask you a little. You know what? Doing this interview was uh, very challenging for me. I remember being so scared, like almost dizzy. Really? I've never done something like that before. It was like the first interview. Probably. I had never done one interview like that before. <laughs> like in front of a camera, sitting, like I'm smiling, but I was scared of doing it. Really? I can't. That's yeah. good training. That's the thing we all have fears. I think it's just we need to talk more about the fact that we all yes. have fears. You know, it's okay to have fears. You know the big mistake? Let's, let, let's talk about the evolution of this video, right? Of this philosophy. I used to say you have to be fearless and have no fear, right? But I think that's a, that was a mistake. I think it's okay to have fears. What you need to learn is to, to accept your fears and whenever you have them, go anyway. And 
if someone is fearless, he will end up in jail, and he will end up homeless, and he will end up screwing his life. But if someone accepts that he has fears and actually enjoys this moment, this high of growing whenever he identifies a new fear, then he will not end up in trouble. And he will, this will just open doors for him. So instead of. I used to say I wanted to be fearless, but now that's not what I say. Fear serves a purpose too. Oh, it's yeah. there to oh, protect actually, us from danger. For us to survive. So it's just acknowledging the fear and, and just going, going beyond it. Yeah, for sure. Jordan, what do you think? <laughs> I have a lot of fears. Oh, no, I know. That's all right. This guy will help you out. No, so that's the point. It's okay. And you should, you should have them. But you should do it anyway. And it's powerful and I used to say, oh, you should have zero fear, but that's not true. Yeah, we all have it. And even speakers, I've been speaking like a thousand times in front of crowds, so they have their heart beating when they do it. But, you, but, you, it but how do you feel when you do it still? How does oh, it make you, you feel? feel? It makes you feel amazing. Yeah. Once you understand that you are rewarded by the universe when you do something scary, by having endorphin release in your body, yeah. it's awesome, right? The cold shower we're talking about. Yeah, but, okay, so... So one thing uh, to leave uh, the people off, what do you challenge people to, or that are watching right now, what do you challenge them to do? Very basic thing, like, I mean, I'm trying to pick something that was not in the interview that we did, <laughs> but um, one that I don't think we said is just talk to a stranger. Like, talking to a stranger, I don't know why we're so scared of just saying, hi, how are you? Uh, how do you feel right now? And usually people will say, I'm okay, we can go, go away because they are just as scared as you. But just stay there and insist, like, how are you? And maybe if it's too much, start by just saying, have a good day to people. <laughs> so, I remember the English And like, you just, you walk by in the street and say, have a good day, have a good night, have a good day. People are so surprised. Once you've done this, start talking to people. So many people are so alone, feel so alone. They go to park. Anyone that is sitting alone in a park wants you to talk to them. They feel so alone. I promise you. So go there, talk to people, and ask questions and listen. That's my challenge. That's amazing. High five. You got your challenge. You got your challenge. Now you gotta act. Talk to the stranger. Do it now. <laughs> Three.